Welcome, welcome back, welcome back, yes, welcome back to another video, another episode, another visual Got the trails, I'm Jimmy, alright guys, listen, uh, part, what do you call this, part 4 maybe, uh, the police body cam videos I haven't done this in a while, so I, want, I need you guys to, uh, hit the like button, maybe you guys to comment something It could be a good comment, it could be a hate comment, but either way, a comment will do just fine And you guys to subscribe and hit the bell, the bell notification, BAM! So uh, we gotta celebrate. We got we got a slight celebration to celebrate. Um, so two things to do that. We can do these body cam, these police body cam videos because I enjoy doing them. And also, uh, we actually just hit the milestone. My last video I did, I posted that we did twenty thousand views total on the channel. And I looked on my analytics, and I seen that it was twenty five thousand. So twenty five thousand. Thank you guys. Couldn't have done it without you guys. All right, so. Police body cam videos, uh, part four, I think, or part three. Or part three. Either way, it's, still, it's we're gonna go to like part a thousand. But um, as always, I'm going YouTube. I'm gonna search police police body cam footage, shooting maybe, and see what pops up. See what catches our eye, and we're gonna go over it and do, I guess, like a reaction video. So let's get into it. All right. So I put in police body cam shooting. Of course, it's in my history, so I didn't have to type this. Um. We're gonna look for a short video because I don't want guys, I don't want to take you guys' time too much uh, and see what pops up. So I think we covered a lot of this stuff. So we're gonna go down more and see what we can find. Uh, this one's kind of recent, three months ago. This is about three minutes, so we're gonna go ahead and see. If we gotta fast forward, we're gonna fast forward. Let's go. Juan Fernandez has been speaking with Pink's family. Uh, this is obviously a, a, a very yeah. Good afternoon. Oh wait, 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 wait hold Determine on. Determine exactly what so happened. Title to this is uh, Mystique Police Release Body Cam Video 911 in I'm assuming fatal shooting. So now here's some video attorneys: Daryl Washington, Curtis Lilly, and Justin Come Moore on. represent members of Pink's family. On one calls. <laughs> Police say Pink charged toward officers with a club and a knife. We've highlighted two objects captured in the video. Police have been called to the complex Tuesday for a 911 hang-up call. In that call, you could hear screaming. When police arrived, video shows Pink's girlfriend telling officers he had a knife. Family has said Pink had a mental disability. Now, police explained what they knew about that before their arrival to the scene. Okay, hold on. All right, this video is done for. We ain't going no more. So look, my thing is this: if you have, if if somebody is mentally ill, right, and police show up, and that person is is being a threat to the popo, why they don't just bring out the taser, um, and and you know, use that as um to enforce any force. One thing I don't understand is this: why the f does police have to go in a, well, some police have to go in a situation and match the person's energy, right? Because there's some cops that do that, actually. So if if a policeman is showing force to a person who is who is showing force, isn't their job to de-escalate the situation? Do they forget that in training? Aren't they trained to do that? It's to de-escalate the situation. So one of these, see guys, these guys should practice that. The guys, instead of pulling out 10 pistols, right, maybe you got one guy or two guys who, who you know, um, in the front line have their chasers and, and, yes, in the back line have the pistols ready. I don't know. Maybe it's, it's I mean, I get it. You, they want to ex exercise their force and, you know, use their firearms. But, man, the taser should always come first. The guy has a, has a damn knife. He doesn't have a gun. If he had a gun, it'd be a different story. But he had a knife. That's kind of where I'm at. So um, let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this video. Next one. Oh, this one's a close-up. Right, we get it. We get a, we get a nice POV with this one. 
So this one's uh, titled "Experts React to Body Cam Footage of a Deadly Police Shooting in West mm, Something Something." So uh, yeah, this is a close one. Door video shows 24-year-old Adam Lund buying the knife. He stabbed himself in the throat. He used minutes later to harm himself at this busy West Sacramento parking lot off Reed Avenue, prompting police to respond. New police body and dash camera video shows the tragic scene that unfolded as Lunt attempted to drive away Stay from that car. shopping Stay center. The, the man exiting his car and charging officers with a knife and gun, later determined to be a pellet gun. The term of art is suicide by cop. Sacramento attorney Stuart Katz is an expert in police use of force, having spent 30 years suing law enforcement agencies and officers for misconduct. His reaction to this West Sacramento incident? You know, here's a situation where a guy had already stabbed himself seriously in the neck. So you don't have the type of flexibility of saying, well, let's get a crisis person or mental health professional. It had a you know, tragic but absolutely predictable end. West Sacramento police have launched an internal investigation, while Woodland Police and the Yolo County District Attorney's Office conduct independent investigations to determine if there was any wrongdoing by the officers involved. West no Sacramento man, come on! Look, this is this this is what I'm saying, and the the expert just said this. Policemen are always, oh, how do I how do I even say this? Policemen are always um. Their first thing they, their first thing to do is always is always to do the most, man. Like they don't have to do that. They didn't have to, to be honest. They didn't have to kill the guy, but. It's okay because they have the badge, and whenever a weapon is presented in front of, of a policeman, whether it's you know 50 yards away or five feet away, well, it would be a different story if it's five feet away. But if it's you know far away, and a dude is in his in his car, I mean, what man? Maybe this there needs to be more training applied in that area of you know de-escalation or seeing what the hell's going on rather than taking out your gun. And, you know, acting like you're at the shooting range. I don't know. Acted on Facebook saying West Sacramento police remain committed to keeping the community safe by responding with care. She offered support to anyone who may be in need of help with links to Yolo County Suicide Prevention Services now available. The shit don't help. If a person's if a person is going through it like this dude was. A lot of these programs don't help. That's what they don't understand. They just, they just think that, that the programs are just the end-all, be-all, and let's move on with our lives. Like, no, man. Some people just need more, you know, professional help or more, uh, you know, more care, I guess. So, there has to be different programs. It can't just be, oh, this person's going to do something. Uh, let's call the cops and let the cops handle it. And, they, and this is what happens. The dude ends up dead. You know? So... Let me know in the comment section what you guys think about that. We're going to go to the next and final video. Let's find something juicy. All right, so this one is a body cam footage of somebody. Put your hands up! 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 My bad. Just, you know, program. When I hear that, just boom, when I get shot. So this one is Austin police shooting. Uh, body cam video shows moments before Alex Gonzalez, I think. Um, I heard this story. I heard this before. I forgot. I forgot what the, what the situation was. But apparently, the dude, um, his by him getting shot caused a lot of people to get angry. That seems to be the trend in here, the good old United States of America. So, I never. I actually didn't see the um the footage on this one. So I'm glad I found it. I forgot how long ago this was, but uh, it just seemed a little juicy. So, I'm gonna hit play on this one. Hey, 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 before I do that too, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. All right, again, don't forget to hit the bell notification. Don't forget to point, shoot, aim, shoot on the like button, and leave a comment, okay? All right, let's get into it. Get What the hell? Yeah, get back, get back. Okay? I'm not gonna put it up, okay? Come around! Master Eva! He, bro, you can hear what he's saying. Put your hands up! No, 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 no! Put your hands up! Don't reach! Do not reach! He's reaching. Do not reach for your gun! No! Do not do it! No, no, no. Do not reach! 
Put your hands up. Walk. Turn around. Walk. Turn the red. Turn the red. Walk. Walk away from the car. Now. Turn around. Turn around. Stop. Auto. Auto. Ven aquí, Alexito. No. Get away from there. Okay. No, don't reach. Do not go in the Do not reach. He's reaching. See, sí, don't. I do not reach. Hey. Guys, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, if you use your damn heads, man, if 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 you got a group of cops that has, you know, a couple Smith and Wesses pointing at you or some Glocks pointing at you, man, those bullets are gonna hit hard. And they're gonna burn, right? That's number one. Number two is, if you're in your car, and you, I mean, if you want to have a, a, you know, if you want to die that day, then Follow the exact, you know, the exact moments and, and movements that this dude is doing with the policeman. But if you don't, just listen to the damn cops. I mean, if you have any warrants, that's on you. You do what you do, right? But as far as, like, following any orders with the gun basically pointing at your damn back, use your damn brain. But it depends on, again, what situation, what, what the hell the person is going through. Because, you know, cops, they don't really, they just, they're trained to think. Kind of one way instead of you know both ways um oh one thing too and let me know i want you guys to leave in the comment section i think cops should carry more of their smoke grenades of some you know more smoke grenades to do that to de-escalate situations not not in riot situations but i'm saying you know to just you know as an everyday carry they have tasers anyways right but they could they could use you know one or two gas cans in their you know smoke cans in their in their arsenal so let me know what you guys think about that. Should, should policemen carry gas cans? Let me know. Do not reach! Do not reach! No! Hmm. No! And that's it. That's all she wrote. And there it is. Let me know what you guys think about that video. I think honestly, man, they they if cops had the cho had a, had the option of carrying the gas can, carry the damn gas can, throw uh throw it the smoke can. My bad, the smoke can. Throw it and break a window. Throw a taser in the dude. Take him out. If he ain't got weapons, but I guess he was reaching for something. And as you've seen, he got hit a couple times. And ah! so, what do you expect? What do you, what do you expect is gonna happen? Anyways, that concludes this video. Again, as always, thank you guys for commenting, thank you guys for liking these videos, thank you guys for watching these videos. Make sure you subscribe because we are on our way to 1,000 subscribers, uh, and more to come. So. In, in the next coming videos, I want to do things differently, but of course I want to keep doing these reactions, these body cam, police b shooting body cam videos, um, and to, to show you guys, you know, like what, how, how to, you know, I guess interact with certain things and um, even, you know, self-defense videos and stuff. And, you know, I think that that brings some type of value to common sense because not a lot of people have common sense, right? And we don't, we, a lot of people don't have it. It's just strange because common sense is not an understood concept. Anyways... Uh, I'm closing this video out by saying, love your guns, handle them, enjoy them, exercise your Second Amendment rights, and, you know, we all have the right to, you know, defend ourselves, no matter what anybody says. Anyways, this is Gun Trails, I'm Jimmy signing out, peace!